Yeah, we're we're uh, we're trying to get a course installed here permanently at Mendenhall Park. Um, the space is um, accessible to a lot of people in town, and we'd really like to provide more recreation available uh, for the youth and the families around. We've seen success with the course in Mill Pond, and we'd really like to have one here in Big Pine. Currently, we're um, setting up uh, pop-up style courses on Saturdays with a big support from Copper Top Barbecue. Every last Saturday of the month, we have a tournament, uh, big prizes. We've been getting about 20, 30 people out here every Saturday um, to, uh, to show their support and do what they can to, to get this course moved forward. So other than just the, the love of the sport of frisbee, frisbee golf, is the idea like to get people moving and exercising? I mean, quarantine's been such a add 70 pounds to your body type of thing. <laughs> this is a yeah. good chance for people to get out and move. Yeah, absolutely. Disc golf has blown up since quarantine started um, because it's a, it's a sport that people can get out and do together, but keep their distance. And uh, yeah, it's healthy. You know, you get to take a walk and, and throw some things, but it's also pretty simple where anybody can do it. You only need one disc really to get yourself started. Um, so that's about $10 and you can start playing the game if you have a course accessible. And so, um, yeah, the idea is to is to be able to provide a, another recreational opportunity for people and, and give a little bit of a reason to take a walk. It, it sounds to me like it's pretty self-explanatory, but do you want to explain what Frisbee golf is? Yeah, Frisbee golf, uh, in basically just like golf, you want to get a low score. So there's a designated starting place for each hole. Typically we have 18 or nine hole courses. You throw from the starting place and you end up at a basket like this. Um, where you got to make it inside the hoop to um, to complete the hole and you just count up your strokes for for the, To get through the whole course. Okay, and then I know uh, Matt from Copper Top was sponsoring this and so They're putting out some pretty sweet prizes from what I understand, right? Yeah, they're putting out really great prizes um, $300 uh, in a gift card of your choice uh, or um, an oculus VR set the, the winner gets their choice um, and also the winner is going to get free entry to the tournaments for the remainder of the year and um, free barbecue for every tournament event as well. So they're really they're really doing a big part to get people out here. Um, and they also made Frisbees, custom Frisbees, so that anybody who doesn't have one can show up and play. And that's been huge. We get a lot of use out of those. Uh, there's been some, some people who have never played before and they, they get to try it out right here in big time. Has there been any other sponsors or anything with the Frisbee? Um, personally, I, I've gotten sponsored by this new company called Wild Discs. They're making some, they're just getting started. They're making really great products that are supporting endangered species and um, giving 5% of all their proceeds to the World Wildlife Fund. They're giving me plastic to throw, giving me the support. Um, to, to be a part of a team is really big for me so that I have this whole network of other disc golfers who are doing similar things all over the world. The company's based in New York, so I feel pretty cool to be represented on their team here in California. Uh, I think I'm one of just a couple people on the team in California. Oh, that's cool. Congratulations. Um, so the idea then would be to have permanently mounted disc golf Holes? Targets? What's this? Uh, we call called? them baskets. Ba okay. Yeah, or chain catchers. Uh, they have a lot of names, but typically they call them baskets. The idea would be to have them permanently mounted. Um, with a sponsor? Is with, that what you were saying? Yeah, and then uh, the, uh, the way that we could fund the course is to have a sponsor for every hole. Um, at the tee pad where each hole begins, there would be a plaque with a number, hole 1 through 18, and then every plaque would include a little um little advertisement and recognition of who sponsored that hole that sounds really great well um how would they contact you or matt or whomever to help uh throw in their their hat into this ring or however you'd say that uh, <laughs> name into the hat yeah <laughs> frisbee uh, into the basket matt is um pretty easily contacted through um his email copper top barbecue uh, he's also usually at the shop. Um, I can be contacted on Facebook, Tyler Starbard, um, or anything in the Eastern Sierra Disc Golf Club Facebook page is a good way to contact me and, and uh, that way everybody can see um, what you'd like to, how you'd like to support or ask. 
Perfect. And in the meantime, if you want to participate, it's Saturdays from uh, 11? Yeah, Saturdays from 11. Um, starting at 11, it's usually 11 to 3, except for the last Saturday of the month is the big tournament day with the prizes. That will be two full rounds of 18 holes. Um, so I think that's about 11 till 5 it was. We just had the first one this last week. And um, big shout out to the winner, Stephen Filer. He won $300 and right away he donated straight back into the course. So oh, he cool. wanted to be the first one to donate and sponsor a hole. That's awesome. Yeah. All right. Well, Tyler, thank you and good luck with this project. Yeah, thanks a lot, Jesse. And you sincere now. I really appreciate this opportunity.